Hey y'all, and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to What's It Like Wingmanning for Kevin Hart. This is from Two Bears in One Cave. Let's see what they have to say. So there apparently seems to be like actual interviews and like serious content. And by serious, I mean like more than just laughter on this podcast. So I'm excited. <laughs> Starting with uh, Kevin Hart and comedy. Yeah. When we would go yeah, around. This we, is so fascinating. When to we me. would go around like like younger and do like shows or like little college things or something. Yeah. You know, Kev's confidence. He'd have like girls back at the hotel room. And I just remember the time he was like, he's like, dare me to, dare me to show my dick. So I was like, gotcha. Hey, Kev, you should, I dare you to show your dick. And he's like, okay. And he just pulled. Was this before? Marriage number one, because he's kind of out in Kevin right now. Because in the early years of Kevin's success, he was married to his first wife, with whom he has two children. You heard it here first, people. Hey, Kev, you should. I dare you to show your dick, and he's like, okay, and he just pulls out like it's like a, a, a large size part of his body weight is this dick <laughs> <laughs> and like he so and then again almost burt like yeah i remember because i didn't ask him to do that for me so his yeah. dick's out and then these girls were like oh wow oh boy <laughs> and then he goes he goes ah hey, yeah he goes jay i dare you to play your dick You're like, don't don't do that dude <laughs> no don't what did he mean when he said almost burnt like? Does it mean he went into uncontrollable sobbing laughter and turning red? Is that what he means? Because that's what I got from it. Ah, uh, yeah, he goes, Jay, I dare you to play your dick. You're like, don't, don't do that, dude. <laughs> no, don't Please do that don't to me. Do. What's yeah. so funny about that story, when I told her last night, I didn't want to, it wasn't the point of the story, so I moved past it a bit, but that night it was a real pretty girl, three black girls, one very pretty. The other two were like, Looked like TSA prison guards or something. <laughs> it was like uh, they had cornrows, but uh -huh. like five, uh -huh. like two, and then like one down. Like yeah. they, it was not a good look. Uh -huh. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, it ended up working out for him with the one. So he go. This is these are days of sharing hotel rooms. Yeah, wasn't even a question. So it's a really, but it's like it's a huge dick. Uh, his dick is enormous. Tom's like, yeah, let's get past all that and get back to that. It so it was huge. <laughs> Oh, yeah, goodness. wasn't even a question. So it's a really, but it's like it's a huge dick. Uh, his dick is enormous, and he goes in the bathroom with one of the girls, and then the se it was making the other two horny for sure, hearing them because it was the noises of I thought maybe murder, but it was <laughs> I just never heard those noises before. Yeah, I've never hit that spot that makes those noises. I guess, <laughs> but this girl was just getting power railed, and I to tell you how long ago it was. Um. The Matrix had just come on uh, HBO, and it was running, and I saw it in the theater. And I remember being annoyed by the Matrix movie. Not that I, I enjoyed the movie, but I was so annoyed that every person who, like, all of a sudden thought they were a philosopher was like, makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, really, like, maybe that's what we're in. It goes, I don't think so. So was the Matrix on? Is that why we're talking about the Matrix right now? Was it on television while all of this, all these sounds were happening? What's happening? What you think, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like, really like maybe that's what we're in? It goes, I don't think so. But man, those those girls were like, what do you want to do? You're here like, oh, oh, oh God. Oh. Yeah. And like, what do you want to do? And I was like, have you seen this yet? It makes you think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, could we? Is this even? Maybe this isn't even all. Maybe they're not even fucking in there. It's just two robots smashing into each other. Holy shit. How, um... Do you guys link up, you and Kev, just by doing local spots? Like, how when we first became yeah. friends? Yeah, 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 I started. It was weird. I would love to know what Kevin Hart thinks about him telling that story. Because, well, I mean, in an ego kind of way, it, it probably is a boost for him. Uh, because apparently, size does not matter. Um, but again, I, I do know that in Kevin's early career, he was married. So maybe like that's not a story he wants to be sharing because that could potentially mean he was committing adultery, <laughs> which I think he's admitted to like in his shows, like he just, his first marriage didn't 
pan out great because of him. I feel like I've heard him say that before in 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 the past, like in interviews or something. Doing local spots, like how when we first became yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started. It was weird. It was such a cool like uh, group of three to become like friendly. It was. Uh, I started the week after I started my first open mic. I met Metzger, Kurt Metzger. Yeah. And then, like, two weeks after that, Kev started, yeah. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. This Tom song. tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave. Um, this is such a funny theme song. I guess the show was less uh, hysterical because... Bert didn't seem to be there, and so this gentleman was able to just tell his his story. <laughs> oh man, gosh! I think comedians probably have some of the like real deal, rawest like on the road stories. That's what I'm starting to feel after just listening to some of their back in the day anecdotes. It's like, oh, it was wild! Like, thank goodness there weren't like social media outlets back then because. Ah, all right, y'all. Go and have the day that you deserve. Peace.